Okay, this is going to be talking about reading music, and we'll be reading it in two different systems. One is called the standard music notation that every instrument reads. That's, that's written on five lines. I wish I had a dry erase board behind me. It would be easier. But if you look at your page six that I sent up, page six shows the five lines. And it's here. This is the chord's not very well. Five lines are up here. It shows that notes are either the notes are either on on the line directly or it's kind of in, in between lines. I call that the spaces. So here they're they're notating I get to the list. I guess they're notating uh, first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line, and, and fifth uh, first space, second, third, and fourth space. And we talked about music being written A B C D E F G A B C D E F G, and it would be really easy if this staff started with A, but it doesn't. It starts with E, and you look down this this illustration below. It shows the note that if there were a note written there right now, there's a letter written there. It would be E and then F, and then G. So it is going alphabetically, but it starts with E. And this thing is called a clef sign. And it kind of circles or makes like a bullseye around that second line. And this, this is called a treble clef, or it's also called a, more accurately a G clef, because the note that it kind of designates is G. So when we see them go, oh, G, the next one higher would have to be A, because that's what comes after G in the musical alphabet, G, A, B, C, D, and so on. Um, then they start writing some lower notes, which we aren't going to worry about for right now. I think what would be good for us to look at is uh, down here at the very bottom, it shows three notes. You can't see it on this little screen. E, E, and then there's an F, and there's a G. That one actually goes outside of the staff. It's the next one. I'm still going alphabetically. E, E, F, G. And what's important for us is how it's played on the guitar. And E, that E, that E is played like this. Oops. It's, a, it's the first string open. Because remember, it was eat a darn good breakfast every day. Every ape does go bananas eventually. So there's that E. Now to play F, we take our first finger. Our left hand fingers are one, two, three, four. And the reason I'm saying this is sometimes people that play piano have different fingerings. F is here on the first fret, with your first finger. Then, third finger plays the third fret for G. E, F, G. Let's try playing E's in what are called quarter notes. I don't know if you can hear my foot. I'm playing quarter notes. Those are typically one per beat. This is beat is the pulse. My foot is the pulse. Now we're playing E's. Now let's play F's. Now we're going to play G's. Something, I just thought of something. It's important to talk about how to hold the guitar. I'm holding it in a reasonably correct manner. Here's how beginners want to hold the guitar. Like this, so you can see where your hands are going. And it makes it a lot more difficult for your wrist. Your wrist will get sore. If you can keep it like this, and if you can kind of just peek over the top, see where your fingers are going, because when you're first starting out, your fingers will disobey, and they won't go always to the right spot. Yeah, anyway, let's try. Let's try. Where were we on F's? Uh, let's switch to G's. So I'm going to put my third finger on the third fret. Go back to F. Back to E, which is open. Open meaning there's no fingers. Now let's uh, jump up to G. And see, I kept my I kept my hand, this my left hand, kind of close to the notes because if I if I if I let it go out like this and I had to go way over to here, I could very easily go to here. Or here or here. You know, I miss all together. So when I'm playing, I try to keep my fingers close. Uh, where were we? Let's do E's, let's do some E's, and then we'll jump to G. So here's the E's. Now we're gonna jump up to G. Now 
Now let's go back to F. Maybe back up to G. Okay, so we turn the page now, or I'll go over to page eight. You can see those three notes designated at the top with pictures and then the standard notation with the treble clef. And then below that is a, a notation system called tab, or sh that's short for tablature, which was actually the first way that string instrument, string instrument music was notated. And you'll notice that there's, instead of having five lines, it has six lines. And when we look at that first one, the one under E open, there it says T-A-B tab, and then there's a zero on that top line. Well, we know that E's played like this, so that tells us that that top line, when it says zero, if you play with, with no, no, no left hand, nothing on. And F, there, under F, there's a standard notation F that we know, and then there's also a one, and that one means first fret. When you look at the third, finger on the third fret, which is G, you'll notice there's the standard notation G, and then there's the tablature version, tab version, with three on that first line, that first line indicating this string. So, if we keep moving a little bit further, we'll try to finish out this page. Whole notes. Whole notes means four counts. So I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play exercise one. Sounds like this. I'm just playing them once, but I'm having four taps. I'm going to do it again. Exercise one. One, two, three, four. Exercise two has half notes, so they get two counts. Sounds like this. Here's exercise two. One, two, three, four. It's going to change notes. Starts on E, so it's easy. Now it's F. Now it's just one G, and then one F, and back to E. So let's do number two again. One, two, three, four. Number three has quarter notes, one per, one per pulse, one per beat. And it starts with G's, so we're going to go slow. One, two, ready, go. G, G, F, F, E, E, G, E, G, G, F, F, E, G, E. That's a lot faster. That, that could take a little while. Let's try it again. One, two, exercise three. someone playing that we think boy that's not very difficult that's pretty slow but when you're trying to play it yourself it's not as easy so this could take a while one more time then we're gonna stop one two number three